Hi, my name is Mansoor Nathani, and in this video, I'm going to install GNS3 1.2.3 from source on an Ubuntu 14.10 virtual machine. I'm using VMware Workstation on a Windows 8 uh, host machine, and so far, all I've done is installed uh, Google Chrome and the VMware tools. So, this is pretty much a fresh install. So I'm going to have the note somewhere either in a link to my blog or just in the YouTube comments below. Um, it's going to include the instructions. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and install a whole bunch of uh, dependencies. Now I've done this before, so hopefully there won't be any errors and we can just get started. Uh, uh, there's this an error right there. actually app get install and it says 33 new install packages requiring 31 megs of downloads and 169 megs of in this installation disk space so we're just going to go ahead and say yes to that I'm going to update this document here I'll probably fast forward this install process because it's not much much to see here till it's done and then we'll resume when it completes. Alright, now that it's done installing the dependencies, first off I'd like to get into tmux so that I can have multiple terminals running at the same time. Um, let's do mkdir gns3 cd gns3 and we'll start with the gns3 GUI. Clone the repository. Actually we can clone all three repositories. We're going to install three programs GNS3 GUI, GNS3 server, and then Dynamips. So that's the second one, GNS3 server, and then the last one, which is Dynamips. Now the actual install instructions are pretty straightforward. We're just going to go GNS3 GUI. So we're just going to edit this as well here. Um, okay, that's the first one complete. Let's go into GNS3 server and do pretty much the same install process. The one for Dynamips is a bit different. We'd have to go into the Dynamips directory, make a directory called build, go into the build I can spell it correctly. Go into the build directory and then do the CMake with the dot dot. Once that's done, we can do make install to install uh, Dynamips. Now, the last step on here, once Dynamips is complete, is to create a symbolic link uh, that points to the actual Dynamips install which is slash user local bin Dynamips and make sure that user bin Dynamips is pointing to that location because GNS3 is going to look for Dynamips in this location. I suppose you could alter DN GNS3 to look for Dynamips in the right location but uh, symbolic link works fine as well.
So like you can see here installing user local bin dynamics and let's create the symbolic link. And let's run GNS3. Now I don't have any iOS images just yet, so let me go ahead and uh, bring bring in a new Gonna install SSH on this box. And check the IP address on here, it's and I just inst uploaded a bunch of iOS images I put it on the desktop it's decompressing the image Go ahead and use that. Go put two fast Ethernet on here. And let's put a uh, cloud and a seventy two hundred RP seventy two hundred Cisco router. Uh, connect the two. Okay, this one has to be configured first. Just give it access to the Ethernet zero. Console into R one. So we know it's working, but uh, just to make sure if I can spell correctly if I want to get the IP, DHCP IP address Okay, looks like it got an IP. Let's see if we can ping. The first ping usually drops because it's doing an R request. Not sure why it's dropping more than one. I have to look into that, but um, overall it is working. Let's try a packet capture. Capture. This is giving me a bunch of warnings because I'm running as root and looks like it is receiving a bunch of traffic from my network maybe a loop going on in the network right now 
whole bunch of duplicate requests anyway. So hope this has been useful. Um, I'm going to post the um, instructions on my website mnathani.com and um, the video will go up on YouTube soon as well. Thank you for watching.